Hello, welcome back to session five. We spoke about, you know, uh, earlier about like uh, earlier session about DNS, and we spoke about the VNet. We said like we need an ARM to create a VNet, and then after creating the VNet, the ARM VNet we need to connect it to the, you know, uh, via peering, and then we did the DNS. After the DNS, uh, we spoke about, you know, a few options. We said like, you know. And then we went through the DNS setting itself, and then this connection. We said like there are two methods for connection. So how we can connect via these two methods? So we will basically configure the classic VNet portal ARM ARM VNet, and then gateway. We need the gateway, create the gateway, new network surface, virtual network, add the local network, and then specify your local uh, details. We said like VPN, VPN, and we said the peering. VPN is easier than VPN, but VPN. This is the method you see. You can specify the IP address and the options available with it, and then specify the ARM VNet and the starting IP and the ending IP for the CIDR. And then we can go to uh, the associate the local network with the classic VNet, and then side to side connectivity. So that will allow us to use a VPN to speak between the two VNet via a gateway. And then we have the dashboard which shows the VNet between, and at the moment it's not established. I click on dynamic routing yes wait for up to 45 minutes and that will basically establish the connectivity again this is through the old portal now we need to configure the uh, arm vnet we create a gateway subnet with the arm create a virtual machine uh, sorry virtual network vpn net gateway local connect the local to the vnet and then add the subnet then subnet plus gateway i click okay slash 28 because the gateway doesn't require a lot of ips we can see there we've got like 10 available and click okay wait for a while to establish connection and then uh, go back and create the virtual network vpn gateway again networking virtual network create a vpn root based and then arm and then define the resource group and the location then we move on to update the local network connectivity you need to wait, connect to the classic, again ARM VNet, specify your local IPs and click uh, edit. Then uh, publicly available, which for the VPN, and specify the public IP address. Then create the local network gateway, typically will check up to 45 minutes. And the local network where AADS will be hosted, it will be via the public gateway to reach out uh, to it. Then. We create the local uh, communication IPs and VNet, and then click Create. That will allow the uh, local to speak to the hosted AAD DS. Then after that, you can see now it is green, whereas earlier it was like disconnected, where it says Gateway. And then you can review the setting configuration between the two. This is by VPN. And then this is the method where you can provision a cluster and uh, via I mean, PowerShell. So current provisioning via ARM. This portal experience will become available to start public review at the moment, and you can see the command which will be utilized here. I'm just going to highlight it for you. Okay. And then we move on to the last part, which is uh, submit the ARM template via PowerShell. Again, we go to PowerShell where we specify the source and the target. And then basically, portal provisioning, big experience for secure hardware will look like this SG inside. And basically, uh, after provisioning, you can see the container, RDP, admin tools, focus on the OU itself, and then secure the Hadoop cluster will show up. And then you can use uh, Kerberos for authentication. And if you have issues, these are the basically uh, provisioning or the costo, like, you know, portal logs where you can see the like uh, issue uh, logs related to, or you can SSH to the cluster. If you are Linux uh, engineer, you know, where this, where you inspect it, var logs hd inside agent and hd inside out like sdt std out equivalent and you can collect the files and you can basically ship it and investigate if required and the last part is uh, if you want to find the admin logs you can see logs ranger admin or user sync now that's all what i had for you hopefully we learned something in high level around you know uh, hadoops and securing hadoops thank you for watching Goodbye for now.